and in the session so yesterday we have discussed about initially we were discussing about class and objects so in that we discussed like what is class variable and what is local variable how much uh, like what would be the scope of this this would can be accessed globally and this uh, that uh, local variable like scope would be just inside the method only then how to call the class variable to call the class variable we need to create the object of that class so how to create the object just like uh, class name object is equal to new class name and this particular right hand side uh, things are the object and this is object reference and this is our object reference type okay so all these thing that we have discussed apart from that later on we were discussing about the functions in c sharp so like what is the need of a function and how to create a function so basically uh, and some properties of the function like we cannot create method inside method but we can call a method from another method and uh, we also discussed like we, uh, generally we use three types of methods while using the c sharp programming so the first uh, method that we looked into was no input and no return type method okay in that we just created a simple method just like test so it's of void type void means there would be no return type of this method we don't use any return keyword inside this and like this parentheses are empty that means we are not sending any kind of parameter we this method don't have any parameter or argument so basically this is, is no input and no return type method okay this is also like we don't have any return type this is void whenever you see like void over here void means empty this will not return anything similarly the, the man method that we are using man method is always void so always remember man method never returns anything it's always void in nature okay and similarly like uh, this don't have any parameter so no return and no input okay so yeah we also see some practical example of this and from this session uh, we i'll uh, we will discuss about the method the second type of method that is we can say that no input but some return okay there would be no as such input we will not send any parameter but yeah we will get some return type of this method okay so for that let me define some method okay let me do it over here public this is the uh, always remember this this is the syntax of this can be anything like whatever public private or i'll we'll discuss later but this is the basic syntax of a method let us say it void although we need to take it uh, from uh, something written from this but initially i am just keeping it void and let us say get balance okay and we need to put the parenthesis and curly braces okay you if you'll remove this then this is not a method okay this will this will show an error okay so this will behave like a property then so for now we just have to to take these parenthesis now let us print something inside this let us say get balance method so is this the thing that we are returning from this method no this is not like uh, that we are we are just printing a particular statement the return is like we need to use return keyword then only we can return the value but we are not using any return keyword over here that's why we are just simply doing some operation or printing the value okay now let us say i have some values int let us say fee uh is equal to 10 okay and uh, okay let us say tax is equal to 5 we have two uh, different kind of values uh, okay variables that we have defined fee and tax now let us say i need to add fee plus tax to add them uh, like i need to assign these value where i will need uh, i need to like store these value so uh, for that i would need a variable let us say total okay total is equal to fee plus tax then also need to give that what type of total is that okay this is of integer type 
okay so we are storing this total like fees plus tax we are doing that we are storing inside a reference variable and this is of integer type now so we have already seen this is a simple method okay like there is no argument and no return type but like we wants that we from this method the name is get balance so we want this total amount or we can say uh, anything like balance amount okay this is balance so we want balance should be written from this method so how to return the balance just use the return keyword return balance simply write like this okay so this is now like uh, the method is now uh, is like no input we are not sending any string or kind of value from here but some return so we are getting balance return from here now just analyze like there is some error okay so uh, like what is the error just mouse over this this will say since function dot get balance return void the return keyword must not be colon so this is saying that your method is of void type okay you are not getting any return from it so instead of void we need to define a return type of this method so what is the return type of this method that depends upon the value that we are returning okay so what is the return type uh, sorry that what is the balance the type of balance what kind of data it is whether it is string double bool what kind of data it is so simply you can see it's an integer type of data so the return type of this particular method would be integer that means we would we will get a integer from this particular method we will get integer as a return okay how to use that i'll explain you but i hope you have understood so always remember here we need to define a return type okay if it's void then there is no return type it, it may be can i write it like this string then it will show the error because this will say uh, like uh, you can take only uh, string as a return type from this method okay so ca i cannot use that okay so i just need to use string only okay now so what is the return type of this method return type is integer okay and what is the return type of this method this or this okay so this is void like return type of print method what is the return type it's void that means there is no return type so what is the return type of let us say we have man method public static void f what is the return type of this so always remember it's void man method is always void we will not get any return value from this okay yeah we can do some operation inside that but that will not return so the basic difference between this method and this method is that this will just print this value but the this particular method along with printing the value will also give some amount or some value this will also return some value that's why it's like no input but some return okay now let us see how to use that so we are working in this particular class function in c sharp class where we already have defined three methods one was test one was get print now we have defined one more method that is called get balance so do i need to create the object again no i already have created a method and all the method like three methods are part of this class only so i just need to create object at once okay then just like i have called function dot test function dot get print similarly i need to call let us say function if you can see t i o n dot let me whatever dot so what is the method that we need to call right now we need to call the get balance okay so here it is here is my get balance okay now you have called just like you are calling these get print and test similarly you need to call that okay now if you will run this then what kind of input or output you will get let us see Uh, so let it let it build and display the output yeah so this was our uh, like test method this was our print method so now we just getting an print statement like get balance method okay 
सो वी आर जस्ट प्रिंटिंग दिस वैल्यू कैट बैलेंस मेथड बट आर वी रियली यूजिंग दिस बैलेंस नो बिकॉज वी आर वी डिडेंट गेट एनी आउटपुट फॉर दिस सो वॉट शुड आई नीड टू गेट द आउटपुट फॉर दिस सो इफ यू विल माउस ओवर टू दिस दिस विल से लाइक इट विल गेट बैलेंस and this is an integer kind of value you can get from it so if you want to get the balance or integer kind of value because this will this are this particular function is returning something this is returning the integer value so you can store this value inside a integer let me say i can store the value inside a variable okay so what is the type of this value okay we are not defining it time so it should be of integer type right so if we define int then there is no such error means what we are doing over here this particular method is returning something what is returning it's returning an integer kind of value and we are storing that value and in another variable okay you got it like this name can be anything x y z but take a, always take try to take a meaningful name okay can i write it like string over here is it valid obviously not because what the error it will say cannot implicitly convert type into string what is the return type of this method this is returning of us an integer kind of value okay so you cannot store directly integer into a string so you need to store it in integer only okay further if you need to use this value then you can do whatever operation you want to do like you need to use this value into some logic you or you just want to print this then you can print the value now let's execute it again and analyze the output uh the the balance should also get printed okay so the value like 15 we are getting over here 15 means uh like 10 plus 5 fee plus tax is equal to 15 so the balance got 15 and we are returning that so what we got over here okay so we we got over here like 10 plus 15 so this value is 15 and then we are just simply printing this values okay i hope you got that okay is there any question and like other way uh, with rather yeah yeah aswini any question no no from my side okay okay that's good cool. so just like i am storing this particular yeah please be on it so i am storing these values inside this value can i write it directly can i print it directly just like uh, console dot write line or i'll say function dot get balance type instead of writing like into this can i do like this yes there is there would be no ss error and here 15 should get printed and here as well we are not storing this value inside any new variable we are directly printing this value so this should also no, should not show any kind of error okay we should get like 15 15 twice yeah we get balance method 15 and we are again printing that so means again like when we call this method this will go inside the method and we will again print get balance method and what is the return type for is 15 okay so we directly can use over here but like this is the best practice this one is the best practice okay always store inside a variable and then use that because for an example in maybe somewhere else you need to use this value then again you need to write this entire statement and get the value rather rather than it's like store inside a variable and use this value throughout the program okay and yeah you can see like we can call a method multiple time it's not like you have called uh, just just like get balance over here any time just whenever you want like you just say you see like here function dot get balance yeah so as many time as you want you can call a method okay a method can be called multiple times okay so yeah that's uh, what about these methods and we'll talk about it more in this session okay so now uh, for an example i have one more example let me create one more method for you let us say public 
void initially just take it void later on based upon the written type we will change this value okay let's say get trainer name okay and we don't have any parameter for this and let's print something meaningfully let us say get trainer name i'm printing the simple statement just to get identified that we are into this particular method okay get trainer name so now uh, over here we will have we were having integer as a written type and here let us say i am storing some string kind of value string let us say name is equal to a n k i t okay now i am returning so i just want to return the trainer name from this method so what i just need to do just use the return keyword and give the variable name okay so i am returning this value from here okay i can directly write return statement over here as well okay okay but like what we are doing over here we are just uh, and always uh, remember like for now just remember there would be only one return there a method can uh, there are be, uh, there are like some scenario where we can have multiple return as well but we will discuss them later but for now just remember that only one return statement would be there okay so i am just returning name but it's throwing error because we haven't defined any written type yet okay so what is the type of this name it's of a string type so let us say the written type of this method would be string so we are returning string value this type can i write it integer over here no we cannot write because the return value that we are taking is of string type so always have the written type and the method type same so we are returning a string kind of value from here now if i need to use this method then it's as simple as just similarly just like we are calling these things so similarly i use function okay dot what is the name of my method get trainer name right now what kind of value this trainer is returning this is returning some kind of just for an example uh, string kind of values right here this particular method was returning integer type of value here this is returning a string type of value let us say something like t trainer t is equal to function dot get trainer okay now further if i want to use this t let us print this value okay let me execute it and see the output so we have seen the example of integer as a written type and string as a written type void means nothing as a written type okay now i get the trainer name and the trainer name is ankit okay so what is the written type of get trainer math name what is the written type of this written type is string simply just like we have written type integer and the method that is doesn't return anything the written type of these are void there is no return statement inside this okay so also like uh, the value that uh, just like for an example we are storing this inside t so t is also known as like holding parameters okay so uh, if i'll note uh, for an example if i'm not storing this value just like uh, i am doing over here for an example let me write it like this only if i not storing the value everywhere and simply of writing like this then like there is no use of this method because this method is returning some string or some kind of value or we are not storing and using that so then what is the use of this method so always first store the value and then use that that is the value of like the 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 return that we are getting from this method okay and uh, first store the value and further use that value okay so uh, i hope you got the concept like how to return the value and how to store that value and how to further use that value let us say we one have one more uh, method over here let me create it public boolean okay we have bool kind of uh, like method over here public bool let us say is employee active okay this is parenthesis curly braces okay 
let's print something is employee active okay now this is showing error because this is saying you already have defined a bool type over here this is the written type of this method but you are not returning any statement okay we didn't have we aren't using any written statement inside this written keyword inside this that's why it's showing error as soon as we'll use written type this error will go away okay for an example this time i don't want to uh, let us say i have an bool flag bool is equal to let us say bool flag something is equal to let us say true okay i have a true value over here so i just uh, i directly can return this value let us let me return it let me write the return statement and i i can return the flag okay as soon as i return flag over here the error gone away you see there is no such error because we are saying that we are returning any bool kind of value over here and we are getting the return as an output or so like i can directly if i don't want to store and return let me comment it just to show you and i can directly return like true and false let us say return true okay here i am storing this true inside a bool flag then i am returning the value but in this statement i directly returning the value true and false okay so this is an method what is the type like no argument or no input but some output so the output of this method would be true and what is the return type return type is bool right now if you need to use this method for an example uh you just use this reference variable the name could be anything dot okay the method that is employee active okay this is the method and what kind of value this is returning you can use you can store it like this is the bool kind of this method will store or you can use this inside any condition for an example i'm using a if condition if my employee is active it's true then do something just like uh, uh for an example you just like print something employee active or pass anything you want to write it okay so means the value that you are returning from this method this will return either pass or uh, sorry true or false so if this would be true then my if statement would get executed if this method is false returning we are getting false value from it then this particular statement will not get executed let us see employee pass or not so you see uh, we is employee active method is getting executed and we got the output as employee pass why we get this output because our method is returning true value and we have logic right in this way that we should get true value for an example if this method would return in the real term uh, real uh, world let me say if this is returning false value okay then we we'll, uh, can we see this particular output in the console employee pass no if this will return we will not get any output the employee is active we only get printed but uh, because that method method got executed method return the false value but this statement is not getting executed but because if condition will get executed only when this is true but this is false so the execution come out from this program let me create one more uh, like else condition over here and i can write it like uh, employee fail okay so if this will return true then this line will get printed if this will return this particular method will return false value then this line will get printed so this is how we need to use in real time these methods okay employee fail got it so this was all about the type of method like uh, what was the type no input but some return type okay now let us discuss the third type 
सम इनपुट एंड सम रिटर्न सो हाउ मच मेथड वी हैव डिक्लेयर सो फार इन दिस क्लास वी हैव वन क्लास कॉल्ड फंक्शन इन सी शार्प एंड वी हैव लाइक मल्टीपल मेथड वन इज टेस्ट मेथड गेट टू एंड गेट बैलेंस मेथड गेट ट्रेनर नेम इज इंप्लॉय सो दैट मीन्स वी कैन स्टोर मल्टीपल वी कैन डिफाइन मल्टीपल मैथड इन साइड ए क्लास एंड हाउ टू कोल दम वी एवरी मेथड शुड बी कोल्ड इन साइड ए मैन मेथड बिकॉज एज आई टोल्ड यू दैट द एजुकेशन विल ऑलवेज स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द मैन मेथड सो यू नीड टू कोल दो मैथड्स इन साइड अ मैन मेथड हाउ टू कोल दम जस्ट क्रिएट द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ द क्लास एंड by using this object reference this put dot and the method name will get displayed just like we were using the class variable similarly we need to call that methods okay now as i told you that the third point that we need to discuss is that let me say we have third type is that some input this is the type of we can say method okay generally we used to we use uh, three types of method one is with without input without written second is without any input but with written and third is with input and with written some input and some written okay so how to declare these kind of methods how to declare uh, i hope you by uh, using these you might get have some idea already have get some idea but i'll explain you in details uh, if you like comfortable in this type of method then like you can create anything okay so let me write one more thing over here let us say i have one method <coughs> same this would also be written like initially let's define it to void type further we make uh, change the value let us say void we have simple add method okay so we have defined this method we need to take some inputs also so how to take the input let us say uh, i am defining two input integer a and comma int b so this is how we can take input from this method okay we haven't taken any output yet so this these are the input these are known as input parameters okay what is a and b integer a and b a and b are input parameters so are they local variable or class variable obviously they are local variable because they are using with an method okay so these are local variables not class variable local wars okay now if you if you have taken these as an input how will you use that let us say uh, print this add method we are printing some value now what we need to do inside the program we are just adding a this is our simple logic adding a plus b and after adding this we need to store this inside some kind of reference so we are storing this inside g z and g uh, what is the return type of what would be the resultant we will get by adding a plus b so we'll get integer type of value so this g should be of integer type okay now what we are doing we are getting uh, some parameters a and b we are adding them and just return this z simply return this z okay so if you are returning this g then you need to change the return type of this method then what would be the return type of this method so we are getting z as return so what is the type of z is of integer type then the return type would be int got it so just look at this method this is simply some input like int a int b and some output we are getting look at this particular method that we already have discussed do we have any input inside this no so there is no input but yeah there is an output and what about this method this is some input int a and b you can define more like int c and all okay we'll discuss it later and the return type if integer type then we have like defined int over here okay now how to use that the same way that you are using other method okay 
so let us say the class reference this is the class uh, object reference object reference dot add method is there okay but now what is the difference over here is that we are simply we are calling just like trainer get trainer name and we are not defining it over here but if you want to use this method then it's showing an error and what is the error if you will mouse over to this this is saying there is no argument given you can see it's integer and int a and b written over here so it's saying there is no argument that you have given corresponding that means we need to provide argument or input value to this add so what are the input value that we can provide it's like integer a and integer b value of int a and value of int b let us say we have a as 10 and b as 20 so you see the error jo jo hai wo chali gayi the error gone away because the, these are called the argument always remember this is not parameter this is argument argument okay here when we declare these uh where is our method here is our method so when we declare this method then we define int a and b these are called parameters and when we providing the value of these at that time these are called arguments okay so these are two different term, terms okay so because like whenever you uh, going you should be aware of these small terms whenever you will go for an interview so you will not go as a fresher so they will expect some like good terminology from you so always remember these are the arguments and the method at the time we are declaring the method we are defining the method these are called parameters okay now we have uh, function dot add we have given 10 and 20 now if i'll execute this will i get any kind of output we'll just print this statement add method but we will not get any output because we uh, this method is returning something and we are not storing that particular value so for that i need to store this there i will store this what is the output of this method what is the type of output we will get as integer as that output from here let us say int s1 this method is returning something so we are storing that value inside as and let me print this okay uh, i am printing the s1 so let me check will i get the correct output or not so our add method is got executed and we got the correct output what was the my input like it was uh, 10 and 20 so 10 plus 20 is 30 so we are getting 30 as an output got it how does it work our execution come into the main method then main method will check we have an function we have created an object of the class and we are calling this add method then the uh, compiler will go inside the add method with these are the input so if you just want to like go inside this method just you want to open the add method then you need not to scroll like this because there might be thousands of methods inside a class so there are direct method if you can right click on this you can go from here but like the best one is just select this just select the method okay and press f12 as soon as you will press f12 just select this method for an example if i want to go inside this method i have selected this and pressing f12 as soon as i press f12 i just navigated to this browser similarly if i want to go inside this method f12 then i navigated to this method okay now uh, as soon as my compiler will uh, reach over here that will check what is the value of a that we are providing what is the value of t so it, let us example this is 10 and this is 20 so this line will got printed and this is 10 this is 20 the resultant would be 30 and this method will return 30 and further we will store the 30 value inside this integer as well and we can print at that or we can use further so this is how but the entire method will get executed you got it so what is the major advantage of the method using the method so the method major advantage is that for an example tomorrow you need to add some different values this is how the calculator works today you have just added like 10 and 20 tomorrow for an example you need to add some different values if you see and anything like this is dot add okay now let us say you have to add 100 and 200 or like 100 and 300 so again you need not to write that 
A plus B return something like this. You can use the same method with different type of values. So this is the benefit or major advantage of using function is that I don't need to write adding logic, adding program again and again. I just I will just change my values and will get output accordingly. Let us store inside the S2. Okay, and if I'll go to print like this, console dot write line. Let us say S2. Then what the output I will get? I should get 300 or 400, whatever the value that we have provided. So this is the biggest advantage we are getting. Like we are again calling it, and this time we are getting 400. So you see it. And further, we like we can do other operations as well if we want to, and like subtract something or we can add something inside that. That kind of operation we can do. So always remember, like this is the uh, like we can call that method. With different value of argument here, we were using 1020. We are giving 100, but always remember we cannot you cannot give the argument as like a n k i t because this the argument you can only provide or can you give it like this 11.22? No, you cannot do like that because both of the that argument should be of integer type. If you will do it like double, then you can store the double. You can uh, send the argument as double an integer, but For now, you just have taken two integer values and parameters. So always remember, this would be an int only. Okay. So this is the biggest advantage. For an example, you want to add any kind of value, and you can you must uh, you can define multiple arguments. Just change the values, you will get the output. Got it? I hope you have got it. Uh, okay. So. i hope this example is good for you let me uh, give you one more example of like some input and no return type okay for an example let us create one more method public void initially i am just giving it void there is no return type but further based upon the output i will change this let us say get cos okay okay now uh, let's print one statement over here get cos t uh, for uh, here we are we need to take some input so let this time let us take a string as an input let us say string as cos name so this name could be anything whatever you want but that should be meaningful okay so let us print something like get cos or let us say get cos t we have given the name as get cos v get cos v 4 okay and just need to print this statement like cos name okay now we have some condition inside this and just like i am using if condition if inside the if condition i have my cos name okay so like if i need to compare this value so for integer i have told you that we need to use equals to equals to and in uh, like some of the session i already have explained you that if you need to compare this string then there is a method called equals okay equals just call it and let us say if my course name is selenium okay my course name is selenium then use the parenthesis and let us say return 100 this is my fee for selenium course okay you are returning this value so this is showing an error because we haven't defined any return type of this we'll do that let us say we have one more course else if i already have explained you how to use else and else if and some other loops but uh, now we will use those kind of thing that we have discussed in previous session so let us say if i have else if my course name course name dot equals okay this time let us say i have one more course called api testing okay then the return we need to return that fee for this let us say we are charging 50 dollar for this 50 okay now let's say i have one more else if condition over here when i have one more course uh, that is called 
let us say hmm, mobile testing mobile testing okay so i have one more course over here lc so i cannot directly write over here i need to give it like this just the course name if the course name my argument value would be matching with this mobile testing then i will return like uh, 70 whatever you want to take now i have tick for an example uh, like someone has provided different kind of value just like someone will provide java as an argument so there is for an example we don't have any course for java okay for that particular thing i'll return in else condition if we are getting rather than these values then just print just print course not found okay and i also i need to uh, put some return over here because uh, i first i need to change what is the return type we are getting this 100 okay so this what is the type of 100 this is an integer kind of values so what is the return type of this method would be would be integer okay then uh, this error gone away but like it, it's still showing some error because we haven't defined any return type with this else condition with every condition we need to define return because like we may return if condition only if if condition is true then this will uh, be written and further statement will not get executed that's why we have we should have written with if condition with else if Simi similarly if we send a course name that doesn't exist inside this then how will the compiler will get to know that what uh, the thing i need to return so the return statement should be here also so what would be my return in this case not zero zero is not a good practice because there might be some courses that you are uh, like providing free of cost at that time you may require the zero value over there so always remember this is a good practice whenever there is something like not found and that kind of stuff always use minus 1 okay yeah you can directly return minus 1 from there this is we can say kind of standard c sharp okay now this our method is ready we just need to provide the input input as in course name we just need to provide the course name then our logic will verify if my course name is selenium or api testing or mobile testing then we will get what we will get as the output we will get course fees we will get fee as an out output and what is the type of our argument it's of integer type okay and if we provide a value that doesn't exist Uh, that the course that we are not providing that not uh, matching with these three values then will come inside the else value and will get a, get written like the course not found and minus 1 as an output okay let us execute it how to execute it the similarly way that we are doing uh, the other stuff same way we need to do it okay let us say we have this reference object reference dot what is my method name get course fee right this will show an error because we need to provide an argument what type of argument we need to provide this is showing like course name over here means string type of argument we need to provide this time okay for an example i am providing selenium over here okay now the error will go away because we have provided but now still we are this method will return the integer type of value this will return the fee whether it is 50 100 or kind of values so further we need to store those values as well so what is the type return type integer so we need to store inside the integer let us say int is f1 p1 is equal to selenium okay now i have stored this and if i need to use that let me print it let us say f1 so what kind of output i'll get what should i get first my compiler will go inside this we will check the course name will print this line get course for this particular course and will check the condition if my condition matching this course name is we are providing selenium and it's equals to selenium yeah then this particular value will be returned 
if my course name is like api testing then this value gets written so let's execute it and you can concatenate as well this value the course he is yeah like this okay where it is okay got it uh, you are just printing this value with this statement let me execute it and see the output this is how practically these things are being used in the re real time application i will go i'll also give you some very practical example you see like this analyze this output the course fee for selenium we are just providing selenium as an argument and the course fee is 100 we got the right output yes so how does this work let us shift as i told you that just select this method press f12 we are we are providing course name as selenium so printed this line the selenium course name would be assigned to this then print this line gate fee for let us say selenium and my this statement this condition got passed and 100 return and directly come out of the loop okay the further statement will not get executed okay now for an example if i am providing let me say function dot get fee instead of selenium i am providing mobile testing the logic is already written for these kind of things and this will return integer type of value let me store in inside f2 and return okay and we need to print f2 over here let us execute it now what we are doing instead of selenium we are providing this is called argument okay argument we are selenium is an argument mobile test is an argument and here these are parameters course name is a parameter not argument as i already have told you it's parameter okay now i am providing this f2 as an input okay from a mobile testing as an input and f2 is our output that we will get from this method let's execute it and print it so you see uh, now get fee for mobile testing so like this is saying course not found why because over this is uh, like uh, we can say it's case sensitive so my this particular syntax should be exactly match with this so you see here we are taking this mobile testing t as small and we have taken like t as capital over here then this should be small okay print it again this this should be similar exactly that should be equal we are using equals method okay the course fee for mobile testing then course fee is 70 got it now let me provide a value that doesn't exist inside oh let me provide java java over here so do we have java do we have java course inside our like uh, implementation no for an example we don't provide training for java so we cannot say like how much fees we are taking let's take it f3 and execute f3 so we are not providing the java course and if i want to execute it and analyze the output then this will say like the course not found the course fee is minus 1 you see uh, you will exactly get the output the course not found this is how the application are being designed in backend okay and for an example further i can use this value just like we are printing this minus 1 instead of printing uh, we may use it further for an example i am using if condition over here let me if f3 is equals to is equals to minus 1 that will get then print something meaningful just like this course is not the part of or training got it uh, for an example i just i don't want to print this the value of f3 and if my value is f3 is minus 1 then i just want to print this value okay let me execute it so that we can get some more meaningful output okay the course not found this output we got from method and the value is minus 1 and if we got minus 1 then what we did 
we put an if condition the value is minus 2 and then print this line this course is not the part of our training got it so this is how this method will be used like the method of um, with argument with some input and we'll get some output as well you got it so always remember uh, let me give very a practical example to you for that i think we have defined lots of methods inside it i need to create one more class let me create one more class so what kind of classes we have taken so far do we take employee Yes, we already have used employee class. So if I again try to use the employee keyword, let me try it. So you see, for an example, you have employee class. You already have created a called employee. You can see. But if you again try to create that one more class with the same name, then you cannot do that. A file with employee already is already the part of project. Please give a unique name to the item you are adding, or delete the existing item first. Okay. so that means the learning from here is that you cannot create the classes with same name okay so we have already have created that employee class let's add customer class this time c u s t o m e r okay let's add customer class uh where is yeah this is string so for an example uh, we would be needed the man method but like here we are using man method so let's change it to some other name and use the man method over here public void public static void psvm yep yeah so i hope uh, you are understanding these concept let me know if uh, like you can hear me properly and you are able to understand it whatever you are discuss so far aswini and jassi are you getting the concept we are providing the argument and getting return something aswini like are you okay yes yes i am understand okay that's fine so like inside the class we are defining like two type of values we are defining some variables over here called class variable right just like int a int name that we did day before yesterday and we also defining we also defining or we creating methods over here so what is it practically so these variables are just like some properties of we can say we, these are just properties of object okay some categories on property just like for an example uh, we have in car so car is an like function or variable so inside car just like we have steering tires these are fixed values so these are kind of variables but like what is the method of a class a uh, method means behavior of a particular thing or we can say feature so what are the features of card we can drive it that is a feature we have in music system inside this so all these are methods but tires body these are static kind of thing so these are variables so this would be prop we can say properties just like we have salary for an example if i talk about employee then employee salary as gender these all are variables because these are the properties of employee but like if i talk about the employee work okay if employee is traveling somewhere these are the functionality and we can say these are the behavior of an employee so this is properties and this will called as an behavior okay v e s a v i i don't know the spell v e s a v okay behave or we can say feature okay so uh, always remember this so variables are basically the properties and this is the behavior now let me uh, give you a very practical example very very practical example that developers use for an example you have an e-commerce site just like amazon then how the actual code is written inside the backend how the methods are being used over there 
and like by using those method how the developers are doing their coding let me give you uh, like in the tra- selenium training no one game uh, will give you that kind of practical example so let me start uh, with that so i need to create one this is our main method i am creating one more method and the met- method would be like with some input and will return something from that method okay let us say public void uh for an example we need to search something from let us say from the search bar of amazon amazon so let us say do search s e a r c h okay you will get from this example you get an idea like how the backend logic is working for an example if you want uh, you are searching in mobile phone then how the records are getting displayed on the screen this is how they have developed their logic if you will print samsung mobile then you will always get the output as samsung mobile so how the back end code is working uh, i i want to just explain that okay so you just simply created a method public do search and for this let me take an parameter we will use a string as an argument just like category name company name or category name c a t e let us say category Uh, let me uh, define it company name or com- category name whatever that that depends upon you it would be lengthy company okay you just need to give the company name and now what you just need to do let me print something so that we can get an idea like we are into this method searching the product for in the product this company the company name or category name comp okay let me use company over here now uh you just writing a simple line inside this method for an example we already have used uh if else condition many times so this time we'll try to write the code with switch case statement that i already have explained you the switch case statement okay so in switch you will provide the condition if the condition would be true then the cases will get executed okay switch let us say my company if my company name is this then or case first that we need to design is like that let us say case so over the first case is let someone typed apple giving argument as an apple company okay this is how we need to i already have told you like how to use the switch case statement uh, you can go to that particular session and watch it again if you are not able to remember that so uh, if my company name is uh, apple for an example then you i need to use break statement with every case i'll say and we may have uh, some case for just the example as i told you that uh, samsung okay and we may have multiple companies i need to define it because the companies that amazon have tie up with just like amazon have tie up with hp okay amazon also sell hp product okay and amazon also sell uh, you can use whatever you want let us take it to three only okay now but like you entered something like that that kind of products for that particular company just like nike just i'm just giving an example nike product may be not available on that uh, amazon so here like uh, that will come inside that uh, default thing okay product category uh, let us print something meaning full word product product category not found or this company here the company name we need to provide okay the argument that we are sending we are just trying to print over here okay now 
this is a company name this is not a product name apple is a company name so every apple name uh, sorry every company name some have some products just like apple may have macbook macbook light ipad mini anything samsung may have some galaxy kind of stuff and some samsung tablets so these are the products of the companies so to store the products so like if i need to store the product inside this then what should be the thing that i need to define where will i store the product what would be like the value this particular case can return will it return like integer or a string uh, asmini i just want your feedback on this i have to store my uh, products apple products inside this and return that particular if i directly search apple company then apple products should get written if i search for samsung then samsung products should get written so in which data type i need to store my uh, like products is it integer string or something else as many string nothing uh, string okay but like maybe i have hundreds or like thousands of apple products so is it possible to every time like define 1000 string string apple this string that string just like is it possible to do like that so uh, we can use the uh, list array list and exactly list. exactly you are you are correct this time so uh, always remember uh, like uh, we will not use the array list over here because that is non generic and we cannot give the type of that uh, that depends upon the requirement that is also fine but like uh, this, this particular example let me uh, define an uh, list kind of uh this is a generic collection list and we'll store the value inside this you are correct this time okay so let me define a empty list over here then further we will add values let us say list and the type of list would be let us say i'm storing the string values okay string and this is my the list is my product list product list okay now if i'll come inside the apple case then i'll add the value inside the product list okay let me add it product list dot add method i already have explained you this is how we need to use these okay uh, this is a practical example in which you are covering lots of concept concept of class concept of methods concept of switch case statement concept of argument concept of collection okay there are lots of concept are used in this particular example okay so let's example i need to say i have an apple product apple have iphone let us say 12 and they have one more object called product list dot add they have for an example macbook pro okay product list dot add they have uh, let me say when these are the products that an apple is providing they are offering okay so product list dot add let us say um, we have product list as ipad mini there might be multiple products uh, okay that is enough or oh, let's take one more product that there is in the list all these product will be added inside the database okay let us say we have simply we are just these are not real time products but in real time these these values will come from the database directly okay there would be some sql queries okay now uh, let me take smart watch also let me say apple smart watch this is also product is available for that one. simply we have added some product for apple now if i need to add product for samsung then i do need to define a new uh, like list over here or i can add the product inside the same list so always remember we don't need to like define this list again and again we can add this product will get added inside this only when this case will get true if this apple case is not true this is false then these value not will not get added inside this list okay then we'll check the other condition if the samsung case is true then the the, the product i'm adding for samsung 
will get added inside this list okay so let me copy this and add some product for samsung as well let us say for samsung we have uh, s8 samsung s8 phone or kind of stuff or we have some more product just like um, samsung tablet or we have samsung tv got it so these are the product that uh, samsung company have presently on uh, like on their databases that they they want to sell on amazon okay for an example hp product uh, just like they have some product is like let us say hp laptop and they have some hp printer they have some hp let us say some headphones for an example so these are the value that they are providing you may take as much as values that they have that depends upon the customer like how much this is dynamic they can add it dynamically okay they have just like hp uh, what are the other products that we have hp let us see keyboard and now for the example uh, if we note have any uh, kind of value then we not add anything inside the list the list would be input in default yes if we are providing a company name that doesn't exist inside this and at the break statement will not get anything now so we have defined the parameters for this company will just provide company but are we really returning these things from this method no this is a void type so we need to return these product list from this method so to return these product method so what is the type of product method this is a list of string so similarly we need to provide the list of string over here as well okay list of in diamond brackets just give the type of list we are getting string value as an output so if you will use over here you already have used list of string but still this is giving an error why this is error is on because are you returning are you using any return keyword inside like this method everywhere did you use the return keyword from here did you use anywhere you didn't use return keyword so after writing all this logic you just need to return what i need to return i just need to return the product list okay so what is the type of product list it's a list of string the similar way like you are returning the list of string from here this method you got it okay so this is how my method has been developed and now uh, like we'll look into this like how to use this particular method okay so uh, to use this how to use this simply just create an object of this class by using the object of this class then we will take the object reference i will put the dot then do search method will be there i will just provide the company name accordingly my value will be returned for an example my class name is customer customer is equal to new customer okay i have created the object now if i will use customer let me say uh, customer dot now uh, the method that i have created the my method name is do search so i need to call do search method from this class let me take it Okay, and now I need to provide an argument. What will be my argument? Is company name. Okay, so what is my company name? Let us say, for an example, I want to get. So it should be in string only. I want to get the details of Apple product list. Okay, I want to. Uh, I just write it inside the Amazon search box. I just write Apple. Then all the Apple products that are listed on Amazon should get displayed. So this is the list of Apple products that are being listed on the Amazon, for an example. So this should get displayed. Okay. So this value got added inside this product list, this MacBook Pro, and inside this. And at the end, we are returning this product list. Means all the value should get be like written. So we are uh, doing like Apple do search. Okay. 
now uh, we are just calling this method till now this method is no use because we are not uh, like storing the written type this this particular method is storing list of string but we are not storing those values anywhere so for an example how you can use this if you need to get the size of like how many products are there let me uh, not queue the simple right uh, print the statement let us say customer uh, i just need to write just like we are storing this first store this value inside the variable so this would be list of string that we are getting as an output okay and let's say apple products is my object whatever apple products i'm storing these whatever the written i'll get i'm storing this and for an example i am getting the count method i already have explained that there is an count method that will give like how many products or how many values that are stored inside the list right so this is how we need to use these methods so let me print some name like the total number of the total count of available apple products are let me print the count over here so we'll get the total how many apple products are available on the website and for that if you want to see those methods then uh, let's use the concept of you may use for loop or for each loop so let's use for each loop it's easy to return so what is the collection the apple products will get as an output now the item is like let us say product so what what type of product will get will get p r o d u c t product will get we can use var as a generic or you can use a string type of as well because the single product we we have list of string okay then the single project would be a string type okay so let me print that over here uh let us say console dot write line and let's print like the product is let us say here is product no simply so this is not that much complex uh, yeah uh, like it's little bit complex because this is similar to that uh, developer score that developer used to write that but what is simply what we have defined we have just created a method using switch case statement and now uh, we want to call that method for to call that method we just created object of the class then reference this is called object reference this is all object to so object reference to do search and the, this will take this is called argument we are providing apple as an argument with any product name okay as an argument so the list of products will get uh, so we have stored inside the list and we are doing some operation like printing the count of that and printing all the values okay let me execute it and see the output what kind of output should i get so see guys this is a very practical example okay yeah so you see searching for the product apple total number of available product are four the product is iphone macbook pro ipad mini and apple smart watch you see this is how that real time application are being developed at the back end so every time like developer uh, i will state the concept later first try to understand for an example you just have been searching the products for uh, let us say apple now uh, let us say if you want to search just like you need not to write the logic again you just use this statement like just do search is just like you did for apple for an example you are doing the same stuff for some other company just um, print some line in between let us say console dot write line just to discriminate the output okay um, star okay so instead of apple products variable you already have used let us say this time samsung products you need to get 
so this is for samsung right now just print samsung product over here then uh, actually the screen is blocked again i'm not able to see whatever you have printed just now okay let me share it again let me know once it's visible to you is it visible no it is not visible ah now it is visible okay cool fine so uh, what i did i did nothing just like this one uh, i am trying to get the values of apple product now i am trying to search the samsung products what are the samsung products are available on the website okay then storing inside the list and getting the count like how many products are there and by using for each loop i am getting i am printing each and every product that are being available over there let me execute it and see the output okay yeah you see searching for the product of samsung total number of available uh, apple product we have written over here we need to write it like its source in text string samsung product r3 and samsung as state samsung tablet and samsung tv this is how you will search the record and we will get instead of apple we need to write samsung so this is how this logic is being developed okay for an example tomorrow like some users come and give a name that doesn't exist inside the database is just like we don't have for an example we are developing application for uh, samsung sorry for amazon and amazon don't have product for that company so how that will work let us say just use it again let me do it like this let's say product for let's say mama earth for an example we don't have uh, mama earth product on amazon for an example okay so for that let's get count the count value should be get zero and even though we are trying to print these values okay now like if we'll call this method and try to give an argument as mama earth then my compiler will go inside this will provide mama earth over here then this line will get printed searching the product for mama earth then we'll come inside this we'll check cases each by one each by like it's the switch the company name is mama earth we'll check first case there is no match the second case third case no match then we'll directly come inside the default this line will get printed product category not found for company name is mama earth and this will break my loop and will not get any value from product list so this will be an empty list okay so for an example if i need to uh, let, let me execute it and see the output how will i get the output you see uh, searching the product for mama earth the product category not found for mama earth total count of available mama earth products are zero okay the count returning zero this is how in the practical real time application are being developed at the back end you got it like there are many activities are going on here so uh, let me explain you that how the application are being uh, developed so let me say okay so for an example you have some ui over here okay this is your ui and you will have some search button on the ui okay you will have some search button uh let it in different color okay so you need to search something so like uh, the user will not be aware about these all the coding behind background what is happening so who will design this uh, Uh, like we can say who will, who is going to design this particular uh, uh, this is an kind of browser application we are saying so the ui developer will design this okay we can say 
let us say ui developer will design this i'm just uh, making you uh, just to make you understand that that's why i'm this is not relevant but like you should be aware like how the real time application are being developing and qa as well okay ui developer will de develop a ui so this ui will talk to that back end code okay so this is the this entire code is over the entire logics are known as back end code back end code okay and who will develop this back end developer uh please don't be, go on the spells i'm very poor in that back end dev uh will uh, like double, develop all this code okay so back end developer have developed developed this code then uh, i'll send the ui developer will send the request uh, from here and now like we have some apis over here that will return the data for an example we have some apis so the api will communicate and these api may be stored inside some cloud and all so uh, like through these api this data that we are getting the apple product this product will get like uh, this will be written this will be a get call and at the screen this uh, to the ui developer this data through the api will get displayed and further this data like apple product and everything these are stored inside the databases okay the the value is stored inside the databases so who who will uh, develop the database for an example database analyst would be there so uh, that will store the data then the data will come to the back end developer okay so this data will come to the back end developer and the back end back end developer will provide this entire value return to the ui developer and the ui developer will provide this value to the user okay so uh, ui developer may use uh, this will write the code by using some like html language or like maybe some javascript commands type script okay some kind of stuff that he will use ui developer and the data uh, database analyst might be like sql he may use mongodb okay mongodb or oracle oracle whatever like that is a customer required according to that he can work on that he can store their values and the back end application may be it's an for an example dot net or c sharp in c sharp coding or maybe in using java or maybe angular any kind of like language the back end developer can use by using that developer by using that particular language they'll write their back end code so this is how the entire process will come to the end user so let us say this is the end user end user okay so just like this this is how the entire things are uh, like working so uh, this may be uh, like uh, the c sharp developer like maybe uh, they need to develop apis these apis for uh, web drive web browser or ios device or android device that depends upon the request so this is how the entire process is working so testing needed everywhere for an example here the data is correct or not some sql queries to get put insert put like so here what kind of uh, for an example let me change the color let us say over here we would be needed a database tester right db tester okay we need to do database testing over here over here like we need to do like uh, although we not most of the time we not use that kind of thing but like unit testing might be needed at this end okay the back end testing and here we might need uh, like the data is getting transferred through api testing so api testing involved over here okay and uh, uh, like over here on the ui developer we might need some the ui testing okay and the user end there are lots of testing methodology of so this is how in practical i know uh, it's a very uh, little uh, complex example i'm just that's why i'm giving you that so that you can get a bigger picture 
like how the real time application are being developed so to this is the core the back end code that we have seen and through the ui we'll get all kind of output okay so i hope you have get an idea on this did you like that example i think this is enough for this session if you want to go ahead then i can uh, teach you more if you have time other than like i think it would be too much for you uh, no i have to uh, i have a meeting just after 15 20 minutes I have to get ready okay and okay uh, okay and this is a stand up meeting uh, everyone should attend uh, this meeting yeah, yeah i know that yeah that's yeah. that's good yeah yeah so uh, did you like the example yeah it's it was a good example uh, we will uh, i will again um, uh, try it doing yeah. it and yeah please uh, and do watch the video again and try to implement the same example at your know, event yeah I, actually i tried yesterday is also i have uh, done on my side and checked today i will okay. also uh, because, but uh, regarding list and uh, hash list and all uh, concept that was a very big session so i just uh, uh, skip that now i will do it on the weekends and all if possible. yeah please do that yeah so uh, it's okay to skip that one now but like as you see that we are using the same concept just like we have used uh, this over here yeah. yeah that's why we can use some dictionary and all that kind of values so you make uh, do like different kind of values and we'll get the output accordingly right Yes, sir. So, like, mm -hmm. yes, sir. I will uh, do it in the weekend for that uh, session. But uh, okay. for today's session, I will try it for my myself. If I have yeah, yeah. time, just do it ready. because, like, uh, uh, if I want, like, if I want to cut in short, then I will not give you this kind of lengthy example. It used to took like entire session. But I really make you understand that, like, how the application is working. Tomorrow, like, otherwise, you will ask the question. Here, how this code is being developed? What is the use of all these methods and uh, written type list? What is the use of? So this is the real use of this. How the backend application are being designed? That's why I am explaining you these lengthy examples, these complex examples. Okay. So tomorrow we are going to see some more, uh, maybe complex or practical examples related to the methods only, so you get an idea and confidence on. Okay. Yes. So I think we are good. Uh, we are stopping. session over here thanks for the uh, and see you tomorrow